So today I'm going to be showing you how to do clownfish nails. Um, don't mind the noise in the background, it's my air conditioner, it's pretty hot in here. Um, I left two nails blank. Oh, just gave you a sneak peek. Uh, yeah. Um, that's the body. This one's my left hand, I can't do it good. And I tried using my striper, but found that it was too thick. Um, the brush is too thick for me. So I used my paintbrush striper. So I used LA Colors Art Deco Black. Um, Wet n' Wild, Wild Shine, Mauve Frost. LA Colors, Color Craze, White. It's, they don't have names, but it's white. And then Scented Nail Color, Sherbert for the base. So all I did was I put two base coats down. And put a little bit of white polish. I'm going to show you how to do the body first. Took my dotting tool, dipped it in, and all I did was just literally dot around the nail twice. I always just clean the sides up. Okay. So it should look like that with just the white on it. And then I dry it, but. I have this huge dryer, which you can't really see, but... I just dried it a little bit. And I'm going to take my striper, and you can use just the brush in here. But, like again, like I said, I think it's too thick. So I just put a little down. Take my brush, roll it in there, and then what I do is I roll my finger and keep the brush in one spot. And you get almost a nice clean line. And you just outline the white in it. like that. Okay, and that's how you do the body of it, which I just did on all four nails. You can do fins and whatever, but I just did the body just to make it go a little faster. Okay, now I take more white, which my white is kind of running out, so bear with me. It might take a while. Okay, maybe not. And then I take a bigger dotting tool and to make the eyes for the face, I just dip it in there. And I put it on my finger and swirl it around so the eye gets bigger. a little off, but that's how it should 
finished look. Once again, I take my dryer out, dry them up. You don't have to dry them super dry, just get them just a little bit. Okay. Then I take my mauve frost, or you can use a brown if you want to get Nemo's colored eyes. If you want to use blue, you can use blue. But I just take a dot of that. Then I take the same dotting tool that I used, which is the Cajo Nail Art Cajo Nail Art tool, and it's number one. And I take the bigger end. I just dip it into the brown. And dip it onto the eyeball. So it's like that. And also you can do it the other way because this way is facing towards me. It's the easiest way to do it for me. But if you want it facing towards other people, you just put the eyes right up here. So you got that. And then another thing you can do is take the smaller end, dip it in the black, and put it in the middle of the brown. It doesn't really show up here because I have a crappy camera. But... And to make the mouth, I take my striper and I just use the striper brush because it's uh, big enough, but it's not too big, not too small. And I take it, and you can either just do a swoop for a mouth or do the whole mouth. Now, on a picture I've seen of Nemo, he has teeth, which I don't understand, because fish don't have, well, I, I don't know, I didn't think fish actually had teeth, but, um, but not the teeth that they show. They show, like, bright white teeth, like a human would have, but you can either leave it like this and have just a generic clownfish, or you could later put the teeth in. Which, this is what it looks like with the teeth. It looks more like Nemo with the teeth. And all I use for the teeth, I take my white Kahao Nail Art Tool, and it's number four. I take the very small end, uh, mine broke off, but I take the small end, and all I do is dot it. Make sure you have enough on so you're not smearing the black. That's the clownfish nail art.